Hello and welcome, Leo. This is your September 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tarot Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. So, before we do anything, I just wanted to um, remind you that Leo, which is you, is the fifth house, the fifth sign. And five is the number of communication and five is the number of change. And this month, you need to see the world from a different point of view, hence that really stupid angle. That's a bit better. <laughs> so. It is just important to highlight this, that, that when you are confronted by things that are not um, the norm, how instead of going into your strengths, you tend to um, oftentimes not know how to react. Um, so I'm not sure whether or not this will be super reflected here in the reading. It just came to me this, 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 this morning when I recorded this. Um, to remind you that change is in your nature and embracing change is important. The reason why I'm saying this is because this is your reading for the month of September. And September is the ninth month. Nine is the number of completion. So we're coming to the end of cycle, which is also becoming apparent because on the 23rd of August, we are going into autumn. There is a, um, the autumn um, equinox. There is a specific video about this on this channel, right? So anyway, what we do here, Leos, we will look at your overall energy for the months ahead before we will then go and look at your emotional core, see what has to change, what, what um, you know, maybe there's healing that needs to happen, maybe there's love coming in, that sort of stuff, before we then finally look at opportunities as the percentage to you in the months of September 2023 for your very sign of Leo. Now, before we continue, just want to uh, remind you to always remember that the sun is the ruler of the day, the moon is the ruler of the night, and you are the ruler of your own destiny. Anyway, are you ready? I have no idea why this table all of a sudden is uneven. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't even before. Let me just see if I can do something about any of this. Maybe not. In any case. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you ready? Here we go. And I'm asking the guides to give me all the information for the three sections of the reading. Because it just tends to flow better. Because also, even, even though... Um, the reading is slightly divided. It's just slightly divided, so it's actually easier for you to internalize the messages. But it doesn't always flow separately either. In any case, you are Leo. You are governed by the sun. Therefore, you are a fiery energy. You're a fire sign. And the first energy you have as the overall energy for the months of September is, in fact, a fiery energy energy, which is Mars. So Mars is the number 22. In astrology and in numerology, only 11 and 22 are master numbers as only they would fit into a calendar. 22 is a, it's not a minor master number, but it's not quite as strong as 11. And yet the energy of your months, while you're not entirely in your strengths, um, you are quite powerful and Mars, who is aware of your um, metabolism and aware of your energy levels, is boosting your energy levels this month for you, just not up to 11, right? Just not up to, to, to super boosted. Point is, you have motion as a word and as an energy. You are asked, again sounds a bit weird, to pressure forward, to to not 
prolong, to not procrastinate, to not wait. Again, they're not asking to be to be aggressive because that's not what I'm getting here, but to be assertive and determined, especially when it comes to you being listened to, um, because the number of change came in earlier, right? And, uh, and, and five is also the number of communication. So that's what I'm getting for you um, with the overall energy. Make sure people are paying attention to what you're saying and what you have to say and don't dismiss you. Right? So that is the overall energy for the month of September 2023 for the sign of Leo. When it comes to your emotional core, what the guides are focusing on is for you to understand. Now remember, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you. But what the guides are asking you to understand is, while your depiction is a lion, right? You are the, so the, the depiction of Leo is a male lion, Male lions need a lot of me time, and the male lion walks his perimeter oftentimes all by his lonesome. Now, because of your tendency to oftentimes remove yourself, especially when the shit hits the fan, when it comes to your emotional core, they're not telling you or asking you or do it, to do anything here with regards to healing. But they're asking you to understand that you will always do better in a relationship. And therefore, your energy for September is to focus on relationships, which means intimate relationships. If you are in a relationship, make this September's number one priority. See what needs to happen there. See how you can get that relationship to get more tight, right? So um, more fulfilling. Um, conversely, if you are a person that is at the moment um, not in a relationship, you will always do better when you're in one. This is about manifesting, but manifesting that what you really want is an equal relationship, something where there is nobody who is more dominant than the other, including you, right? So that is that. <laughs> and now we're looking at, uh, lastly, at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of September. Now, in September, there aren't all that many opportunities coming your way. Because what you're being asked is to go within and reflect and digest how you are faring with regards to um, how you live your life. So I'm not getting a lot of work energy here. So it's not just to reflect on, you know, how is work treating you? Is it time to make changes? That kind of stuff. I'm not getting that. What I'm getting is, is for you to, even though that's probably partly in there, um, what I'm getting is to um, to sit back and look for patterns. So you look for, okay, you know, had about five jobs or maybe it isn't about work. Maybe you have lived in five places over the last 10 years. That's sort of energy, right? But whatever it is that feels now a bit repetitious, watch if there are patterns in there that do not really serve you and then digest. Okay, there are these patterns and then learn what to do next to change them. Ultimately, do not hold on to the patterns that you already know innately, that they're not really, really um, doing you any favors. Because remember, what was highlighted here from the get-go was the number five, the number of changes. Prolonging stuff that isn't for you is not working for you. Sitting things out is also not working. I'm getting this this uh, emotion of uh, of a person that kind of goes, okay, well, you know, I have one more year to do and then I can do blah, 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 blah. So if you are in a, in a if you are a person that is, I don't know, maybe going towards um, retirement and there's only one more year to go um, or you think, okay, I've been with this, um, you know, like the army or something for 25 years, one more year and then I can get another pension. I get all this. All the guides are saying, if that is your choice, right, that does not mean it's going to be easy. Technically speaking, you shouldn't stay 
where you are no longer really feeling this is my thing, right? Life always continue, continues, right? I get that if you are a person that is a year away from, from a big reward that is um, coupled to you having to stay somewhere for, for a long time, right? I get that. Like there's a part of you that goes like, yeah, I'm not going to throw that away. And the guys are asking you. All they're saying to you is don't be under any illusions that this is going to get easier just because there's only a year left. That sort of energy, right? Again, it is not exactly this for a lot of you, but the energy here is the same. So um, don't lull yourself into I have to stay there until blah, 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 blah. Because what you're doing is when you're waiting for something specific to happen, you are not looking at opportunities. You're looking at that one thing coming closer to you, which is not how progress necessarily works. Leos, thank you so much. That was your September 23 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And until we meet again, always remember that the sun is the ruler of the day, the moon is the ruler of the night and you are the ruler of your own destiny. See you next time.